So, uh, reviewing uh, Shiner Bach. Um, so, I've, I've already taken the liberty of having a bit of this. Um, it's actually a beer that I've had before, um, many times before. It's from Texas. I tried it in uh, Houston, Texas um, for the first time. And uh, bought, it, bought this particular um, six pack in Ohio. Um, so, you know, kind of get the brown bottle, you know, and everything. Um, you know, getting like a, a clear bottle. I'm very glad for that. Um, a very uh, skunked uh, Bach is not something that I would enjoy. Um, I actually had some worries about this one um, because it's been around for a while. Um, it was outside um, while it was cold out um, at that point in time. Um, it, it did um, suddenly get a little warm here um, it, this uh, spring, and uh, that's why I decided to bring it inside, put it downstairs um, in the basement, still without refrigeration, um, after being <laughs> basically frozen. Um, so we'll have to take a look at this. Um, Excellent. Uh, and definitely a sweet. A um, little less sweet than Scheinerbach usually is, and in, in, I'm assuming that's because it's been sitting around for a while. Um, not that it's skunked or anything, um, but this is uh, definitely a sweet beer. Um, definitely, if I were to have one, it would be with a meal, um, and I wouldn't have... Uh, many others afterwards, um, maybe one, maybe two, um, and then maybe switch to something that's a little bit more, um, on, on the bitter side, uh, maybe an IPA, um, a, a lager, and I know <laughs> lager is usually not very bitter, but, um, you know, it, it, uh, this is, uh, sweet, so, you know, kind of, you know, going across the spectrum here, um, so, uh, and definitely um, a good beer, and uh, if you've uh, noticed, I'm not getting to, um, uh, let's, let's go with, uh, not really technical, but uh, high class um, with this review, um, and that's because I don't want to review beers like they're a wine, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to hold this up, you know, put, put some in my nose. Oh yeah, that has a very um, very hoppy uh, um, a very hoppy aroma. I'm definitely getting the oak uh, aroma from the hops. I mean, I, I don't know if that makes sense, um, but um, yeah, that, that's not that's not how I like a beer review. Um, I want it to be like if if I were to walk into a bar and ask somebody how a beer tastes. Yeah, sometimes you're going to get the guys that are going to be like, oh yeah, it's good. Um, but sometimes you get the guys that are like, okay, well, it's sweeter, you know. That's 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 more um, I want to do rather than saying, oh, well, it's got uh, a nice malt character. Um, you know, it's uh, it's got a note of chocolate, you know. Um, so... Definitely a beer that I would try if I were you. Um, like I said, um, it's from Texas, but um, I have I gotten it in Ohio, um, so they do distribute um, pretty widely. I I would say I'm, I haven't really seen it um, in Western New York, um, Pennsylvania, but I haven't really been looking that hard. Um, see Pennsylvania if you have a beer distributor, you know. Or, um, you know, go to a bar, buy a six-pack there, whatever. Um, you know, I, I, I like the idea of going into a grocery store and seeing and buying stuff on it. It's, it's, it's a great thing in Ohio. I, I love it. Um, of course, we do have liquor stores that you might find, you know, some better, some better selection. Um, but uh, d definitely, uh, if, if you can find it, Scheinerbach by uh, Spritzel Brewery, uh, S P O E T Z L. Um, it's a it's a very nice beer. Um, 
So I have uh, their summer ale. Not to my taste to drink out of the bottle. Um, but uh, definitely have a, a review of that at some point. Um, it, it's it's a very unique uh, beer uh, in, in my eyes, and, and definitely something that I haven't tasted uh, from from any other brewery. Um, basically, just based on the uh, um, the combination of flavors that they they've added to it. Um, you know, it's one of those beers. You know, like a like a Who Garden. Let's let's add some lemon. All right. But you know it's uh, it's um, yeah you just can't put this down. Um, it's it's a good beer, um, and when you do put it down, if if you're out to a meal or something, I'd definitely I'd get something else because you're just gonna get tired of it um, after a while, and you're just gonna get pissed and like I need another beer because I gotta get this beer out of the taste of this beer out of my mouth because it's been in there for too long. <laughs> just it's too sweet. It's like it's like shoving your face into an ice cream maker um, with uh, freshly prepared ice cream. Um, yeah, it's very it's fantastic at first. It's it's great, and you start getting down to the bottom. It's it's terrible. It's you don't want any more. You don't want any more for a while. Um, I mean, like I said, this has been sitting around for a while, and that's because I had so much of it. I got tired of it. Well, I haven't been um, to Texas for a while, and last time I did, I didn't really have any Shiner Box. So um, it, it's definitely time to break this back open um, for first beer of the night, and uh, definitely going to have another. Um, review later because uh, it's Friday. Yeah. Cheers.